So this is my first go at uh, pouring, flow pouring, acrylic flow pouring with um, washing up liquid. Uh, so I'm just using the Ecova one. It's in a bag because the outside's a little bit sticky. Um, in the past I have had a go and used this flow improver, but it's a tenner um, for that size, that's £10 in English. Um, for that size so it, it can be quite expensive so I was just watching some YouTube videos and I thought I'd have a go so I've mixed up there's no science to this I'm just winging it so I don't know how it's going to come out so I've just mixed up a, a little bit of water and some washing up liquid a bit bothered that there's loads of bubbles in it maybe I've done that wrong and then I've mixed up different acrylics with uh, bits of the water as well and it's kind of like that consistency so it'll run so now I'm just going to put all the different um, paints into one pot and see what happens when I put it on the canvas so as you can see I've already painted the edge that's wet uh, that's just black acrylic and a bit of the uh, water and washing up liquid so I'm going to start by pouring the different paints into my pot um, like I say I've never done it this way before. I tried it for the first time the other day with my friend Dave and we had a go with the flow medium uh, and they came out really well actually. I was quite impressed the way that they've turned out. I think Dave now wants a full-time career in making flow paintings um, which would be pretty cool wouldn't it? I'm just having a play around and seeing what happens. So you can see I'm just putting it in the pot um, there's no real method to it, I'm just thinking I'll put a bit of this colour in and a bit of that colour and see what happens with it. So I might have actually mixed a bit too much here but we'll see because my tub's pretty full So and it looks like I've put quite a lot of orange in. Um, We'll just have to see how it all comes out, I suppose. A bit more gold on the top. I think that's quite a lot. And I've just um, used a baking tray to rest my canvas on. So my canvas is on an upturned old canvas and on a baking tray. Um, so we'll see how it goes, eh? Let's, let's try this. So my cup is actually pretty full and I think it's probably going to go all over the place. We'll see. I'm already covered in paint, look at the state of me, never mind. So, we'll give it a little, a little tap for good luck and see what happens. Oh, it's kind of made a suction. Whoa! Look at this. This is crazy. Oh, I definitely have put a bit too much orange in, I think. So, let's give it a little. A little wiggle around and see what happens. So when you use the flow improver it makes these really nice like bubbly things that are called cells and when you use the washing up liquid it is doing it a little bit but not as much as the flow improver and I've seen on YouTube that people um, put silicone in as well which is another thing to make better cells but uh, as I say, this is just an experiment, so I didn't really want to go out and start buying loads more stuff, because if you follow me on any of my social media, you know how many things that I do all the time, and I try loads of different stuff, so I just wanted to have a go. Now this is working out really well, actually. There's some really nice um, cells going on here in the middle. That is really, really lovely. I think what I'm going to try and do is don't really want to mess with it too much. I'm going to see if I can pour some off. Oh, it's coming on. Oh, okay. So we'll see. It's kind of pouring everywhere. This is not happening, is it, really? Um, I just wanted to pour some off so I could just add a bit to this corner. Because it kind of looks a bit plain in this corner and this corner. So we'll see what happens with that. Now I might have just gone a bit too much and ruined it, but we'll, we'll see. It's all a bit of a play, isn't it? It doesn't really, doesn't really matter that much. Just so that's a little bit covered. I might 
actually pretty impressed with it. Now, I really like that. That's really, really lovely. As you can see, I'm really filthy. That's probably why the people in the videos wear latex gloves. So, move that a little bit. And. Blow that around a bit so it blends in, so it doesn't look just stuck. I'll do a bit more there. Now on the videos, they have um, uh, blow torches, heat bun blow torches to uh, make themselves pop even more. But I don't have one of them. I might actually invest in one. Um, let's see how it goes. Oh, I love it. That's really nice. I think it'll take quite a while to dry mine because it's pretty wet. Um, the other ones that I did with the acrylic, the flow improver, sorry, um, took two days to dry completely. So I'm not sure. Now you can see how it's going, and there's like more and more cells opening up here. Oh, it's delicious! It's so lovely. So it actually works. So you don't have to spend a lot of money. You can go to the pound shop and buy tubes of paint. Um, which are this kind of size, like this size, and you can use washing up liquid. I don't know if different washing up liquids will make it come out differently. I haven't got a clue. I just use an eco one, so um, which doesn't really have that many chemicals in. So it surprised me actually how it's worked, but uh, it's worth playing. And you can also get canvases from the pound shop. That's kind of the equivalent to dollar stores in America if you're watching from America. Um, so yeah, there you go. So it works. Oh, it's really good actually. Really, really good. So that was just a quick experiment for the day. Hope you've enjoyed it. Um, and have a go yourself. It's super easy. You don't know any. You don't need anything really special, as you can just see that I've, what I've just used. Um, just and I've even used like pots and glasses that I've got from home. So just have a little look around in the kitchen and see what you can do. Good luck with it.